Alright, today we will be installing the um, HVAC filter or the charcoal filter, what do we call, on the GL450 which is X166. Uh, uh, it takes literally three cabin air filters. I don't know why it takes three, but it does. Uh, it's, anyway, I'll talk more about that. Uh, this is the model number for the outside one, 0218, and then this one for the inside one, 318. And there is uh, three of them. So let's get to it. Locked. Okay, it's unlocked. Let's remove the hood. This should take about ten minutes. Somebody mentioned it took about took him about ten minutes. Anyway, we'll see. What the heck? Here we go. So basically, it is right here underneath uh, this thing. Well, from what I understand, it's pressure fitted. You lift this up, and we go. I got old stool because I'm not tall, so I can reach in if I have to. But anyway, let's see if we can do it without that. Just gonna put my gloves. I'm gonna get my fingers dirty. Yeah. So you figured they would, uh, you know, the 2002 ML only uses one. I don't know whether the air quality from 2002 to 2013 went worse, and therefore it needs three charcoal air filters. But um, I understand you just. Oh, that's not what I wanted to lift. I guess I need to make sure because I think this just comes. Maybe no. Supposedly, this just comes right out, from what I understand. I'll wiggle it. Come on, baby. Okay. Yeah, just comes straight out. So here, I think you need to remove this entire this entire thing. Um, so that requires this tab over here, and I believe this tab and this tab. These are just spring tab. Um, perhaps it's a good idea to clean this um, while I'm here. Anyway, let me put this aside. Alright, I won't be needing. Okay, so be careful because this is where the battery is. And we're touching it right here. So lift that up. Lift to the left. Lift to the left. And this part just comes straight out. Um, uh, whatever dirt, maybe uh, I should get a wet rag or something. Anyway, there's a okay. So, uh, pretty goddamn dirty, I am guessing. Anyway, um, this comes straight out. We just want to look at how it's done, how it's uh, seated. Uh, Mercedes on this side, and I think, um, uh, this from what I understand, it should just come straight out bend down okay so see the the name tag goes over here or 218 and we're going to stick the other one it's good to know the airflow right so the airflow is going inward well obviously it takes the air from here and puts it inward so to make sure that that's all right and then once you take that out i'm just going to lay it here so this way i know that the airflow is in this way going in and uh, let's remove Inside one, as you can see, just want to make sure that they uh, give it enough room. It's almost like they're just placed here. And uh, I don't know if I need to remove anything. Well, this is meant to be removed from the inside. Uh, okay, this plastic is kind of sharp. Anyway, I think you just pull it back and lift it up. Maybe I should do the left one first. Oh, come on. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We have the thing. And lift. And lift it. Bring it over to the left. And again, we need to mark. Uh, we'll do a comparison as to how this is compared to the new one. But that looks pretty clean. I can't even tell if this is even dirty, if it needs to be replaced. But I'm going to replace it anyway. Uh, no direction airflow. It's almost like, you know, you just keep it inside. 
Um, but while I have it out, I, I can't tell which is, you know, apart from the labeling, I can't tell what's, you know, which way is top or whatever, other than the labeling. Um, let's take the other one out. I know it's going to be a pain sticking this back in. I just know it. I'll have to wiggle it. All right. Okay, you can also do this from the inside, uh, but the instructions are, well the instructions are from the inside. Okay, anyway, so here we are, two brand new ones, uh, sending 318, um, so they both look pretty new. Uh, I don't know whether I should change it or not. I know the, that one's dirty, but this one looks damn clean. Um, wow, tough debate. I could change it, I could leave it. You know what, I want to change it, because I don't know where the heck this thing has been. So let's slap these uh, bad boys in. Should be straightforward. Um, we'll go ahead with the right one first. So let me put this one back here. And uh, okay, well, I guess it's been recording. Uh, yeah, all right. So, um, yeah, the recording's pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of my right. And if we recall, it was all the way to the to the right. Push it down. Okay, you know, there's a little, you could feel a, a, a plastic divider in between. So once you get it and push it to the right, it's a good deal. All right, let's do the other one. And with the pointing upward. Um, probably a lot. A lot harder than said in terms of slapping it in, I guess. Yeah, use your use your favorite expli explicitives at this time. Feel free. I'll try to refrain. Once in a while, I have my kid helping me out doing this crap. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get in there. Let's take a look. I don't think it's in perfect because the left side is still pointing upward. And obviously, if you have big hands, you will have a tough time. Get your wife to do it. Well, this actually looks horrible. Maybe for this, we should have gone from inside. Uh, Maybe I should have done the left one in first. That would have been probably easier. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. Okay, let's get this up. So the instructions do say to do this one from the inside. It is a tight fit, but obviously it should go in. I am going with the fact of doing the left one in first because I think it's a lot easier to do the left one in. And then there's more room. It's angular, so there's definitely more room to do the right one. So I am just gonna move that to the left. So let me put this down. Move this to the left side of that vertical uh, plastic piece. 
Uh, you really have to stick your finger in this thing. Make sure it's down from the other side. And I don't think, yeah, I think it's, it's sticking up on the right hand side. I think we're good. Yep, we're good. As you can see, it, it is uh, as horizontally flat as it can be. I hope I can see it. I hope I have the uh, camera angle correct here so you can see it. Again, I have no idea why it takes three filters, but it is what it is. Let's do this guy. Should be easier. I don't know why the heck this one moved. What the heck? Why the heck are you moving? That means it is not inside because it's on the left side. If it's moving easily, I don't think it went in properly. It does. Oh, there's this. Oh, there's a little. Oh man, I don't know. There's a little hole. There's a little tab here on both sides. And, and I guess these holes, these holes need to go into that tab. I think that's what holds them, holds them in place. And when I, yeah, when I, when I go to the left, it, uh, it, it catches it. So I know it's not coming out. So I think it is in, in, in a good spot. And, so, and then, uh -huh, there are no tabs on the right hand side. So it should be fairly easy. So it's always good to do the left one, the left side first. And then the right side. And again, we're going to go in this way. I think this is the way, you know, with the Mercedes logo popping up. I'm going to go in this way. Make sure this guy stays to the left. As you're pushing it in, you need to make sure it's... Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's take a look. As horizontal as can be, just... Uh, I think it's good, to, it's good to do the left ones first because there is a plastic spoke sticking out where those holes fit in. So it's good to do the left one first and then the right side. Uh, okay, now that we've done that... Uh, just going to wipe off all this crap. I'm just going to pause some recording, just clean this off with, uh, you know, the wet paper towel. Alright, let's open this puppy up. Oh, nice and white on both sides. It's kind of dirty on this side. Alright, airflow. Airflow is this way. Mercedes. Uh, it's actually made by Man Filter. Um, in Germany, all right, and we just uh, pop it in. And if you look, there are so it's going to go in right here. There's a tab right here, tab here, tab here, and a tab here, and a, and a tab there. So we're going to sit this first on the bottom tab, and then push it kind of down so that it secures against the other tab. So this closes. This entire opening, um, again, bottom tab here, bottom tab here. I'm going to put the other one on. And you need to make sure that the bottom tabs for the cover goes inside this hole and this hole. So that locks it in place on the bottom, and then you have these three spring loads on top. So let's do that. These are the tabs I'm talking about. You want to make sure. Ouch. Very difficult to show you. Uh, I actually need a light to see. I apologize on myself. I'm having a tough time to figure out how this goes, but I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna figure that out. Anyway, so there we go. I wanna make sure I need a light. Okay, I think we're good. Um other than, you know. I don't know how to tell it's uh, secure. Oh, you know what? 
I've got a light. Come on, light. Don't feel me. There we go. Alright, I don't know if you can see. Uh, but, uh, uh, it looks like, it looks like it's, it's in there. It's kind of difficult to tell when you're putting it in, but you just have to feel it. Anyway, I think we're good with that. Now, let's just lock these up. I'm going to push it in. Lock it. And how the heck does this go? Oh, push it in here. We're done there. Now put the other plastic one. I just want to make sure that it goes in this tab and this tab here. Uh, we should be good. Let's see this. So here's one tab over here. Here's the other tab. I'm going to make sure that these tabs. Uh, so there's basically two tabs, right? One here and one here. One there. So I'm just going to. I have no idea why there's some. It looks like oil, but I'm just gonna wipe that out. Anyway, whatever, I'm just clean this, wipe this out over here. Almost like it's a, you know, there we go. It's kind of, you put it in vertical and then they just go around. So, I guess that's it. Kind of cheesy, if you ask me. Uh, unless I'm missing something here. Unless it goes underneath this thing. That's what it is. So you need to pull this rubber back, put it in, and then push this rubber back. So now that holds it secure. Okay, so even when you're removing it, you want to pull this back a bit so you don't rip this out by accident because this plastic is kind of sharp. So this is a good thing to make sure it's a nice fit, is to pull this back. And you could actually see it fit inside the groove. Now, over here and over here. All right, we're done. Thank you very much for watching.